Maldives. In the early 1970s, Maldives was one of the world's 20 poorest countries. Today it ranks as one of the most popular tourist destinations for people across the world thanks to the economic reforms it ushered in in the 1980s by encouraging the private sector. Tourism accounts for 28% of the GDP, creating direct and indirect employment in other related industries. Apart from that, fisheries contribute over 15% of the country's GDP, engaging about 30% of the country's workforce. Just a little above the Maldives is India's own Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep, which is very similar to Maldives in all aspects except for the number of islands, lacks the sheen that the latter has. For a long time, these islands were neglected by successive governments, depriving it of development. So much so that even erecting a statue of Mahatma Gandhi was forbidden due to vote bank politics. Its tourism potential remained unexploited and the island's strategic significance remained unrecognized. The Lakshadweep comprising of 36 islands may look like tiny dots on the map, but they give India 20,000 square kilometers of territorial waters and 4 lakh square kilometers of exclusive economic zone. What is an exclusive economic zone? It is an area of the sea in which a sovereign state has special rights regarding the exploration and use of marine resources, including energy production from water and wind. So, Lakshadweep, though may be a small union territory, weighs heavy from the strategic and geopolitical standpoint. The Minikoi Islands, the second largest and the southernmost among the islands of the Lakshadweep archipelago, is close to the 9 degree channel. Around 12 ships cross this channel every minute. Most of the merchant shipping between Europe, Middle East, West Asia, Southeast Asia and the Far East happens through this channel. So Lakshadweep is of crucial importance from the security point of view as well given that we have an increasingly aggressive and expansionist China that is trying to establish its dominance over the Indo-Pacific. Since the majority of Lakshadweep's population is Muslim, it is also important to counter direct and indirect threats from Pakistan. That is why the government of India has given a renewed focus on Lakshadweep, launching several initiatives to boost the island economy and also heighten India's vigil in the Indian Ocean. The draft Lakshadweep Development Authority regulation was issued in 2021 that laid the roadmap for the archipelago's development. It is aimed at ensuring the safety and well-being of residents as well as promoting Lakshadweep as a tourist destination comparable to the Maldives. To boost the economy by opening up opportunities, the central government is installing undersea fiber optic cables for high-speed mobile and internet connectivity between Kochi and 11 islands of Lakshadweep, which will be completed by May 2023. The government of India is also planning to build a new airstrip in the Minikoi island to counter China's growing influence in Maldives, Sri Lanka and Pakistan. This new airport at Minikoi island, owned by the Indian Air Force, will give an edge to India's armed forces and also boost tourism. The high seas are today being used for illegal drugs and arms trade. In May 2022, there was news about 1,500 crores rupees worth drugs being seized off the coast of Lakshadweep by the Indian security forces. Having a dedicated airstrip at Minikoi will help Indian security agencies to monitor suspicious movement in the high seas and counter security threats from hostile forces. China has been heavily investing in the Maldives by building an airport there and controlling a few islands. The Indian airstrip at Minikoi will help to cut the string of pearls and dent China's dream of dominating the Indo-Pacific. In case of a war, India can establish its dominance and cut off supplies to enemy lines. By bringing the winds of change to Lakshadweep, the government of India today has not only brought development to a historically neglected region, but even tapped into its immense strategic potential to counter China and establish India's dominance over the Indian Ocean.